What characteristics can you identify and predict? Eye color is the easiest because it's almost 100% genetic. And then uh, probably hair color, skin color, and freckling, and then face shape. You have helped close cases. You have helped find killers. Absolutely. We have helped solve quite a number of cases. So, I mean, you really can change the way these investigations are conducted. Right. And, and that's why, why detectives are coming to us, because they need this information. We're able to give them an objective description of the person that they're looking for, and especially allow them to eliminate people who really don't match that description. If, if this is what you think the guy looked like at, at age 25, how do you know what he looks like today? Generally, as we age, you know, we're gaining a little bit of weight. Um, you know, we can look for some cases to see if there's any signature uh, for balding. Can you take me through your, your thought process and your process in aging this guy? The first thing I do, if it's an age regression, is kind of uh, widen the face a little bit to, to indicate that he's gained some weight. And, and I kind of want to add some uh, bags under his eyes, some jowls. This is a sort of instant aging. Now, right. How do you decide what the hairstyle and the hair color will be? And so with the hair color, we know what the DNA prediction was for. And you know, we, we know that you know, people generally tend to, tend to get gray hair over time. But yeah. you know, for instance, that he's not going to be bald because the DNA has told you he's not going to be bald? Uh, I, I think we had a little bit of an of, of a indication he might be, and nothing real strong, strong, so I gave him a little bit of a receding hairline. And that's what you believe he looks like today, or could look like today? Yeah, this is what we, we look at as a possibility, that, that, you know, add a little bit of age, some wrinkles, some weight. So there's a little, there's an art to this, if you will. Yeah, and there's, there's wiggle room, and it, it, we explained to the detectives that it's, it should be looked at very similar to a hand-drawn composite sketch, that, that we're not giving them a photograph of, of their person. The image is kind of to encapsulate those most likely predictions for this person, and it's meant to kind of give you a feel of, of what the person may look like.